In this video, we're going to take a look at how to find the equation of a circle passing through three points. Uh, now, there are several different ways that you could do this, uh, but this video is just going to talk about one. Um, we'll be setting up a system of equations and solving that uh, to find um, the general form and the standard form. So, let's talk about uh, the general form of a circle for a conic. So our general form is x squared plus y squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0. So you'll notice our coefficients of x and y are both 1 and um, we don't have that xy term that you would normally have uh, in the general form because it's a circle. And you'll also notice that uh, besides the x and the y's, we have uh, c, d, and e. We have three variables. So if we wanted to solve for c, d, and e, we would need three equations. And since we're given three points, we can substitute in each one of these x and y values into our uh, general form here and get three equations that we can solve. So let's go ahead and plug in uh, 2, comma 1 for x and y. So that's going to give us 4 plus 1 plus 2c plus d plus e is equal to 0. All right, and then if we go ahead and just rearrange that so our constants are on the right side, we're going to end up with 2c plus d plus e is equal to negative 5. All right, let's do the same thing with our second point that's on the circle, negative 3, 4. That's going to give us 9 plus 16 minus 3C plus 4D plus E is equal to 0. Again, rearranging, we have negative 3C plus 4D plus E e is equal to negative 25 and our last point 1 negative 3 this is going to be 1 plus 9 plus c minus 3d plus e is equal to 0 uh, move the constants over to the right we have c minus 3d plus e is equal to negative 10. So this is my system of equations and I need to solve this for C, D, and E. Now there are uh, many algebraic ways to solve this. I am going to use a matrix. So we're going to do um, reduced row echelon form of our matrix. I'm just going to pull off my coefficients and my constants. So I've got 2, 1, 1, and then negative 5, negative 3, 4, 1, negative 25, and then 1, negative 3, 1, and negative 10. All right, and when we uh, enter all this into our calculator, uh, we'll enter this into one of our uh, matrix variables and then you uh, perform the reduced row echelon form function on that matrix and it will tell us oh and after you when you plug this in um, you're gonna get some weird decimal answers uh, you can use the um, change to fraction button it's a math math number one change to fraction uh, and you'll get that uh, C is 95 20 thirds and D is 5 20 thirds and E is negative 310 20 thirds. So use your calculator to uh, help you with all these uh, fractions. 